Hello there kids. This morning what we are looking at is a full scan of one cubic millimeter of brain tissue that took 1.4 petabytes of data. So what we are seeing here is probably just a little very very small bit of it but what we have here is neurons and what you have radiating around them are these axons that go all over and the information is moving along these axons and of course from the axons they touch each other like this and information is moving between them in the synapses. Um, now this information has been translated into science here where they are trying to copy the human brain. And that's something that I've been saying again and again and again that AI is not magic. It's end result of 100 years plus of research. Uh, in 1920s the, giant, the scientists were looking into giant squid action which is basically one of these little cables here and they were looking at how the electricity is moving in it and then slowly we started to understand the neurons and the first AI neuron models theoretical ones were already in existence in 1940s then, like here, when you have the information moving between the synapses, the mathematical equations and so forth, they were already, there was a lot of research in 1970s with back, back propagation and so forth. Only thing that happened was that computers got faster. But, so these networks, we have been thinking about them for a very long time, but with the current LLM models, the thing is that they kind of have, there's input and there's output, and th that's how pretty much all the LLM models we are using work. But now we are looking into this, kind of if you guys look at this spaghetti here, that's real human brain, uh, it's, it's not like it's one way. If you have one neuron here in the middle, it's firing all over and it's going like ping pong balls, the information between them in very complicated manner. And this science here is about copying that. And essentially, The smartest amongst us, they have not been inventing, they have been copying. They have been copying the human brain. But what this means is that from this complicated science will come AI models of tomorrow. And here is ChatGPT trying to tell me how it kind of a sort of works. How we can use the, this, I was talking about the Komal Gravano networks and stuff that I even installed that thing and did some stupid things with it. But we can use these ideas to make AI out of the future. And what this means is that JetGPT4 is not the end, end all. What we are going to end up with eventually is um, we're going to have AIs that you can talk to very much like your human. And perhaps they will be faster than us. Perhaps they will be even smarter than us. And I know that it sounds to a lot of people like kill it with fire because this is scary stuff. But in the end of the day, yes, this is a piece of brain taken from some poor epileptic guy. I had much bigger piece than this. I lost it and it was taken out of my brain. Who knows, maybe it went to some laboratory, maybe people looked at that too, but um, that's how we got here, by copying nature. It's not magic, guys. Anyhow, if any mothers are watching, I hope you are going to have a good Mother's Day.